Please. And we're on. We're back. Again. We, Again. That's how we start now. Is we're that how we start? Back. back. It's episode 35. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mom. You're going to be singing that all night. All, <laughs> when do you post these? Morning? Sunday morning. If Sunday we morning. pre-record them like we're doing now, I post them on Sunday mornings. Sunday morning? Well, you're yeah. going to be singing that all Sunday day. Morning. Sorry. 11 a.m. Sorry, you're going to be singing that all day. It's a good tune. Yeah. Anyways. So what do you think of... Happy Sunday, people. Happy Sunday. (sighs) Have an amazing Sunday. After you listen to our podcast, get out there and enjoy the day. Yeah. Right? Sure. Or listen to our other ones. (laughs) No, get out there, enjoy the day, (laughs) then come back and listen to our... Or enjoy the day while you're listening. Or you could... If you're going for a jog, nothing better than to listen to this podcast. Your number one podcast. Number one mother-daughter podcast. There we go. All right. What were you going to say? What do you think of influencers asking for free stuff? I think you have to have an actual influence. Like, I don't... What do you mean by an actual influence? Well, people would consider me an influencer, and I don't. Because I don't think I have an influence of magnitude. You don't, actually. That's horrible that you don't think that. I don't. But it's the truth. But you're influencing a lot no, of people. No, I'm not. Yes, you- I'm not influencing as many as Laura DIY or Casey Neistat. Those are influencers. Yeah, but Laura DIY is also influencing 10-year-olds. You're yeah, influencing somebody, more people your age. Yeah, but mom, I only and have 8,000 Instagram followers and like not even half of them like my photos. Barely 1% likes my photos. Mm-hmm. That's not but influence. But that 1%... Or that barely 1%. That's not influence. If you're making an impact in their life, I think you're influencing. Yeah, but I don't even have a thousand people that I'm influencing. I don't think I do. I don't think I have that. Yeah, but... If I were to okay, sell I, something yeah. for 10 bucks, yeah. I don't think I have a thousand people that would purchase. Okay, but let me... let me. And I think that's what makes okay. an influencer. Why? You know what? But your videos that you post mm-hmm. get a lot of views. Not a lot. Mom, we have to be realistic Not here. your YouTube videos. I'm talking what about videos? like... Your YouTube video is growing slowly, but uh, that's patience. Mom, nothing gets but I'm a talking lot of views about of mine. your Instagram videos. 1,600 views is not a lot of views. 2,000 views is not a lot of views. I'm sorry to tell For you. For the number of likes that you get versus the views that you get? I'm just saying that's not influence. I think you're wrong. But anyway. I, I don't. I don't think I and have, a lot of these I don't think big, I'm an influencer. And a lot of these big influencers, you think they haven't bought their uh, status on thing? I don't think so. You don't think they've bought followers and I bots don't. to them? Because I've seen a lot of them where you know they're bots. I mean, yeah, some. But that's obvious. I'm not talking about the big yeah. influencers, though. I think that, I don't know. I guess that, like, there's this thing that, um, why am I blanking? Oh, Cody Warner. Mm-hmm. He's a YouTuber, uh, and and he says he has this hashtag called "No Small Creator." Like nobody's a small creator; everyone's a creator. Right. There's no such thing as a small creator. But in terms of numbers and influence, I Correct. think there is a such thing. I think there's a such thing as somebody's magnitude of influence. Everybody, he's right in that there is no small creator. Right. But I don't think he's right if he's equating it to influence because I think influence is measurable and I don't think I'm an influencer I think I'm a creator but I don't think I don't think that I could get a thousand people to purchase something for me for ten bucks and that's ten thousand dollars if I could I would do it um, I think maybe that's a challenge I think you underestimate and undervalue yourself a little bit too much so reaching out to people for freebies why do you think why do you think I do though because you do. You do. I don't know why you do it. Because you're Is Kat an influencer? No. Yeah, but Kat gets just as many likes as her, on her photos as I do. But those are just friends liking friends stuff. But she has more influence than I do. Well, it's not really influence in her case. She has 800 people following her, and she gets 300 likes on her photos, or 200 likes. That's the same amount as me, and I have 8,000. Do you see what I'm saying? She's very well liked. But you don't consider her an influencer. <laughs> so this is what I'm saying. My numbers are shit. No, I don't consider her an influencer because she doesn't want anything to do with... Yeah, but what does that have to do with ...becoming or being famous, and she might end up becoming or being famous. Who knows? But but what does that have to do with influence? I think I think because you put too much thought into it instead of just doing it. I don't know. I, I, I think that 
I'm just realistic in this this sense. In yeah. every other just, sense, I'm a dreamer. In this sense, I'm realistic, and I know that I ain't shit. And so. I think you need to stop looking at your numbers. Um, and I'm going to say this. Stop being like Gary Vee and looking at your numbers, because he full-on lies about looking at his numbers. How do you and know And that he numbers lies? don't matter. Because he said... Listen, if somebody doesn't care, they wouldn't say subscribe. Mm. You know, or get us to a certain number, or I'm almost at a million, or whatever. Uh, like, come on, that's you gotta take Gary with a grain of salt. Sometimes. You know what? You gotta, listen, listen to his stuff. But I'm not. But pay okay, attention first to what of all, he's I never said Gary V was the be all end all. So no, I don't know what you're saying here. I'm not saying he's the be all end all. I'm just saying I'm, just, I'm not taking. I'm not not taking what he's saying with a grain of salt. So why yeah. are you saying that I am? I didn't say that you are. Yeah, I didn't say you you're to... taking it. I mean, in general, I'm talking to the people okay, that are okay, listening. Okay. To our amazing listeners. Anyways. Okay. So I think you need to like quiet yourself down. What? Mentally. Oh. And just put stuff out that you enjoy doing and putting out and just let it happen. Just like everything else. I'm trying to do that, mom. Okay. But I'm not making any money either. I don't have a side job. I know. Because I can't. I know. Right now. So it's frustrating when nothing is going anywhere. Yeah. I would there. be fine if I did have a job or if I was completely bedridden like I was before. But now I'm in this middle period where, like, I could have a job, sort of. I can't really right now, but, like, soon I can. Uh-huh. So, like, I feel like I should be doing more. Right. So, that I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'm almost better, but I'm not. Yeah, I know. So it's just, like, I feel like I can... I should be starting to make money now, and I can't. In a couple of months, you'll start making money. I wish I was doing something right now, like writing a book that I could sell for like three dollars. I'm not talking a bit a big book. Oh, I'm so. talking about a small PDF, like thirty pages. Uh, thirty pages is too much. Too much for three bucks? Yeah. That's not too much. No, for it is. Three bucks. No, I'm I'm not kidding. It is too much for three. Okay. Bucks. Well, how much would how many pages would you sell for pages. three dollars? Okay, 10 pages or less. Yeah. All right. So I wish I was writing a 20-page something just to see if people are interested in my writing and what I have to say. Because why write a big book, take all this time, and nobody's interested in it? Why not start with like a $3 PDF 20-page book of what I have to say and see if people are interested in it? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, why not? Try it. I could try it. Try it. I'm in desperate need of money, so. But I think I think if you start on your other one and put it in chapters and stuff, I think you'd be doing. Yeah, but I don't way know better. what to write about, so that's gonna take me forever. You'll figure it out. No, I hate that bullshit. You'll figure it out. Of course, I'll figure it out, but it's gonna be like you have fucking I, five years you know in the making. No, like, don't remember. Stop aiming. Just start shooting. I'm not aiming. Right. Stop aiming. Anyway, so what do you think about influencers asking for freebies? I think that if you're an actual influencer with influence, that's a fair trade. But you think they should, for two posts, like to stay for seven days in the Maldives and only for two posts? Like, what is that? I think that's... Who said two posts? Oh, no, that's what I've been reading. Those are the deals that they get. Okay. Well, if that's the deals that the company's making, then that's bad on their end. A lot of them are being shut... Influencers are being shut down now by companies. Well, are they actually (laughs) influencing? Like, you can't go to the Maldives and stay at a a resort and have zero people ever stay at that resort. No, actually, they're getting smarter. Like, do you have actual influence? And I'll tell you why they're starting to slow down on giving influencers freebies. Because of that point that I just made that a lot of them are purchasing and they don't know which ones are truly real and not real. Well, that's so their now, fault for not doing research so on now, the influencer. The one company, she, whoever their spokesperson or marketing person is, she actually goes further and looks to see, you know, if she sees a trend of bots. and stuff. Some people can't tell if they're mom, bots or not. Mom, you go to the person's page and this isn't even accurate either because like me, I have old people that are still following me that don't actually see my posts or like my shit. Yeah. So it's so they're real people. I've never bought any followers. They're real people, but people go away, you know, or they mm-hmm. don't have yeah, their account they anymore or whatever. Yeah. So I want to say that it's like a fair thing to go on somebody's page, see they have 5 million mm-hmm. followers, but if they're only getting 100,000 100 likes, 100,000 likes, 100, oh, 100, likes, likes, that's yeah. nothing. You know what I mean? Like they should be getting at least 500,000 likes. That's 10% engagement. Mm-hmm. So, 
But like I said too, is that a person with 5 million followers may have stagnant people that are not there anymore or that were following them when they were on TikTok or whatever. Yeah. Like, And so they're only getting 100,000 likes because those are the people that are left, you know? And they could also buy likes, no? Yeah, you can do that yeah. too. I don't know. The influencer business is tricky. Like you could set up codes. Mom, don't do that. Sorry. You could set up codes like, oh, here's my code for this product and and that's how you can track if people are mm -hmm. actually buying shit right. and i think like that's a good way for an, influ an influencer to start like team up with a product have them use a code on their website so you can track who's actually purchasing through their influence right and then they can take that data and go to another company and be like, listen, I actually had 100,000 units of this product purchased mm -hmm. from my own influence because they use my own code. But it's hard. Like, vacations are hard because those are – people are taking them few and far between. Like, it's not like an instant thing that you can buy a lipstick online, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you kind of got to wait for their influence to set in. Like, let's say I saw a post from an influencer – a year ago from their travels in Thailand and now next year that's three years later now next year I'm planning on going to stay at the place that they stayed at but that's a three-year gap in between their influence you know what right. I mean so it's hard it's hard to unless to they know. say on arrival you know what brought you here if they have influencers constantly coming to right. that same place right, 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 and right. Say, you know how did you hear about us then you can write yeah yeah of influencer every why you know, I don't know. I just think like trips like that are harder to like gauge on the influence. I think influencers. I think that small products. I think it's beneficial for like beauty products or household products or food even to be recommended because like restaurants are easier to like go to. You know what I mean? And a free meal is not that much as opposed right. to like a free stay. I think Somewhere. I think it's the company's fault in a lot of ways is because they should have like an influencer package for two posts will give you free meals for the mm, week or whatever mm. or for two posts a day will give you the 10% off or you right. know for a video like let's say you do a YouTube on it plus your posts on Instagram then we'll give you 50% mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. I think it's the company's fault and they need to get up with this that if they if there are big huge influencers mm -hmm. um, then that approach them instead of giving things away for free because you have staff to pay for, you yeah. have things to pay for like they can't keep giving away free, right? 7 day stays. So they should have an influencer package and if the influencer likes it they go for it. And if they don't like it, they can lump it. Like, you know? Yeah, I, I don't, I know. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard. Right, well, do you agree with that? An influencer package? I like, mean, you know? I think for things like bigger just trips, I think, like I said, that's hard to gauge an influence. And I think that's harder to, like, sell. So I do think that it should be discounted instead of free, essentially. Mm -hmm. Because why not? Like, if this person's still going to put their money into it, then I know their influence is real, right? Because they're still going to pay for this place that they're staying at. Exactly. Like, how do I know that they would stay here if they weren't paying for it? Um, but also, but I think things like products, like, I think people should send influencers free products. Yeah, they should. That I Because agree. I think that that is like, okay, here's my product. Yeah. Use it. Yeah. If you like it then yeah. promote it and then that can generate sales or awareness right. yeah but i think for trips specifically for trips i think that's really hard to like sell mm -hmm. do you know what i mean yeah another so, point to make now i forgot it unless the influencer is getting it for free and then they're giving out a code to stay at the hotel for yeah, a discounted price too, yeah. because then i'm more inclined to be like oh they stayed at this place in Montreal. Let me go on a weekend trip to Montreal. Yeah. And since this is discounted, I'm yeah. going to use this. But, like, I think for places like the Maldives and shit, like, that's hard to gauge. So I think that it should be, like, a package, like you're saying. So they're turning them down now. A lot of these places, like the Maldives, because these people go after, like, they don't go start it small and say, like, Montreal for a mm -hmm. weekend. They go for the Maldives or Maldives, mm -hmm. right? They go big. Go big or go home. And but Well, if you have that influence, though, I think you can do that but i think that if you're a small influencer in terms of metrics and engagement mm -hmm. i don't think that you can do that i don't think that you have the right to do that like what influence do you have mm -hmm. oh the other thing that i was going to point out a lot of them that are saying no to influencers are going why should we do that because we're getting all our visitors uh -huh. post anyways mm -hmm. right 
and they talk about it or whatever. Mm. So we're getting people from people like word of mouth. So we really don't need you influencers to be staying here for seven days for free that they could sell that room to somebody else yeah. who's going to pay. And they're still getting the same for two posts, like I said, and they're still getting um, recommended by others. Or they can say like the first night for free or the yeah, first two nights for free. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They should have an influencer package. I don't know. I don't think you should knock influencers. No, I'm like not that, knocking but. them, but I think they should have an influence package. I think that's where they're at fault. I think all big companies should have influencers pa- influence packages. It's just like, how do you determine whether you're an influencer or not? Well, you would know the big ones. I mean, the big ones are. No, you even, don't know. Like, no, you don't know. Somebody yeah. with five million followers could have less of an impact than somebody with fifty thousand exactly. followers. Exactly. So or you can't even, just say, or even less oh, followers. this person has 5 million. No, I don't think less. You have an influence. But I you, do not think that. But they have that. to look at numbers. That's what they have to look at. They just have to look at their numbers. If you have 5,000 followers and all 5,000 people are buying shit from you, that's influence. Right. For sure. But right. I doubt that that's the case. I doubt it. I doubt it. I just don't think that anyone's influence is that high. I see. Anyways. And what do you think about... This is why I, I don't label myself as an influencer and I don't ask for free shit because I don't... Even when people have approached me and, and like, asked me to try this product or whatever, I'm like, sure, I can try it, but I just want to let you know, like, this is my influence. And then they say, okay, you know what? Let's just do this anyways. You know what I mean? Like, the teeth whitening thing. Right. Like, I didn't know I was going to sell any of those. I did. Yeah, you did. But, like, I didn't know. Like, first of all, I had to use the product, and it did whiten my teeth. But yeah. second of all, um, I told them straight up. I was like, I'm only going to post on here, right. and I'll do live streams as well because that's the majority of my influence. Like, I don't want you to think that my Instagram is my own. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you gave them, you told them all your platforms yeah. that you're And I told them in. I'm not making a YouTube video because I don't have influence on YouTube. Like... Right. You know? And that's, and that's not what you want on your channel anyways. No, it just didn't make sense. Yeah. That's another thing is that... Your channel's more you, for filmmaking. No, but you have to be authentic too. You can't yeah. just suddenly make travel videos and then suddenly have like a teeth whitening promo on your... Yeah. On your thing, yeah. you know? That could kind of work because it's on the go teeth whitening, but still. If you have a... Oh, I can't think of a bad example. Like, if you have a food channel, but yeah, you eat a lot of food, you have to whiten your teeth. Like, Well, the teeth whitening, actually, in your travel videos or whatever, you can start your day off. Let's t- wait. I know, that's get what I'm ready, saying. You know? If you make travel Let's videos, teeth whitening is good. If you make food videos, teeth whitening, whitening is still good. good. Yeah. If you make beauty videos, yeah. teeth whitening yeah. is good. So, like, I don't know. Maybe teeth whitening is actually <laughs> good for anything that you do. There you go. I don't know. I can't think of one bad. <laughs> Anyways, that was a bad example. But you have to be authentic. Like, like one time at the beginning of live streaming, I got somebody wanted to send me their fur jacket, yeah, the fur merch. vest, yeah, um, the pillow and the, f- the vest yeah, the and- pillow, whatever, fine, the blanket, fine. But the fur vest, it was brown. Hmm. When do I ever wear brown? Right. Everybody knows that I only wear black. Right. So for me to wear a brown fur vest, I couldn't sell it. Like it just didn't feel like me. Mm-hmm. I couldn't sell the fur vest. Like it did not. But feel yet, like if me. it was a pink furry coat, would no, you be able to? No, f- if it was a black fur vest, easily sold, because I would have loved it. Everyone would have saw that I would have loved it, and they would have wanted so, it. So that's the good thing about you. You stay true to the products that you that you want to sell. That I would use. That's that what I'm saying. That you would use. That you would sell. You're not just gonna do it just to do it for no, money. No, like if this lipstick that I wear all the time would give me a code or whatever yeah. and give me it for free then perfect because I've bought it so many times with my own right. money. People have seen me put it on so many times. And you've in had so video. many requests. And, and I've had so many people ask me, where did I get that lipstick from? So like that and eyelashes, like those are the two things that I would, you know, do a brand deal with. But I'm not an influencer in my mind. I don't have influence. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I read this quote hmm. that said, um, let the record show. Evie is chewing on something that I always get yelled at. If my hand dipped into the warheads and I pulled out a sour key, right now you would hear Evie yelling at me. I don't know why I felt the need to eat that. <laughs> I saw this quote that Jordan posted on her Instagram and it was like, being lazy is rude to the people that believe in you. 
to- 100. So what? true. This one fucking pisses me off about you. I believe in you. And when I wa- see you sitting here watching, what's that stupid show that you were watching last night? That was to... And then I Mom, couldn't even get to the next episode because I didn't know how to. Mom, that... Even I was so tired, I wanted to see what was going to happen next. That trash TV that I was watching last night was to get my mind off of the stress that I have editing these videos, okay? That was do me... Do you feel better today? Saying, yeah, I do. Good. I need to go to sleep. Wake up and shower. It's fucking hot in here. I told you. Turn on the fan. I can't turn on the fan. It's going to blow in the microphone. Oh, I'll suck it up for a few minutes. I know. Ten more minutes. (laughs) (sighs) Anyways, it's such a great quote. Being lazy is rude to the people that believe in you. Like, that is so true. I sound on Pinterest. But yeah, that's so true. (gasps) That is so true. Jordan didn't make it up. She posted it, I said. Oh, she posted the quote. Oh, good. Yeah. So. That is such an insult. I know. And that's why the person who watches you doing what you're doing frustrates them and be angry why? with Am you. Why? Am I being lazy? No, it's just like when you spend so much time watching garbage when you could be doing something else. What am else. I watching so much time garbage? I don't know. You're just like on everybody else's YouTube and every. you're just like... That's not true, mom. You jump from YouTube. For the last five and days, if you're not I've watching been watching YouTube, documentaries on, on YouTube. You're on Netflix. On YouTube, I've been watching documentaries. These are all educational tools that you don't realize that I'm no, researching. No, when you're, when you're doing research. But you don't know unless I say I'm doing research. Yeah, please do. <laughs> no, you don't know. I've been doing research. When I'm watching YouTube and Netflix, that is research. I know, but when you're watching Catfish or Kit, f- Kit Fish Cat How is that not research? I like their editing style. Okay, well. Do I have to expose my tools? But, but and then when do you get to your stuff? Day one passes by. I'm two. trying to think of a fucking song, Mom. I can't get over it. Okay, stop pressuring me. Is that a song? Me. What is, is what a song? I can't get over it? No, Mom, <laughs> shut Just... the fuck up. You're so annoying. No, because you're saying that I'm not doing anything, and I am. Yeah, warheads. There's She's ready war- for a war. <laughs> There's a war. There's a fucking roadblock that I can't get past, Mom. So I go and watch these other things to take my mind off it. Yesterday. Did it I- help? Mom, shut up for a second. Yesterday, I was watching a goddamn luxury apartment tour, and the song in the beginning was a song that I thought that I could use. I couldn't because I already used it in so many of my food videos, so I can't use it in this NYC vlog video. Damn it. Okay, so I'm telling you, no matter what I'm watching, inspiration is coming, so stop putting me down. The only thing that I did bad that wasn't even bad, it was helping me get my mind off, was watching Are You The One last night, which is trash TV, before I went to bed okay, to get my fucking mind off shit so I could think clearly today. Shh. Indoor voices. No. Um, watching, watching trash TV at the end of the night is fine. You don't That's, think so? No. You're no, just, that, you just at shame that, me for it. No, I think at that time it's okay. You just shame me for but it. But I think if you're watching it during the day. Mm-mm. You don't know why I watch things. Okay. Okay, so don't put me down. All right. No, seriously. Okay. I'm not putting you down. Yeah, you are. When I was watching a sl- shit ton of rom-coms, until I explained to you why I was watching them, you would think, why is she wasting her time on Netflix watching rom-coms? You just have to explain it to me and then no, I'm done. No, why do I have to explain shit to you? Why not? I shouldn't have to. I think you should. You should just believe in me. I do believe in no. you. No. I do. You but when I I'm see- wasting time. No, but when I see you down like that, and I think, well, she's wasting time. When I'm down, I need to waste time. Take a nap. No, that's a bad waste of time. Go for a walk. No, that's mm-hmm. a form of meditation. That's a bad... For you, not for me. Okay. For me, I need to ingest everything online to see so what else... So is that else- meditation, you would say? Mom, just shut up. Why are you trying to put it in some dumb category? <laughs> I don't know. Because that's what all the big people do. They I don't care. Meditate. Okay? I can't. I'm ingesting meditate. information. Something that I might see on a trash TV episode, I could use in my editing. True. All right. Okay? I I even used Are You the One when I was working at Roker and I was editing the TLC show. Yeah. I literally looked at their opening of their show and remembered it and went back and looked at it and was like this is an editing style that I want to use, and I used it. So don't tell me that even watching trash TV is not research. Right. Okay? That's why I'm allowed to claim movie tickets and all that. At least you're not playing games. No, I'm not playing games. Yeah. That is a waste of time. I know. But it actually works for me. For you? Yeah. For what reason? Uh, because it, like, calms me down. It makes me think. It 
gives me that winning edge type thing. Oh, but for me. And then I go to research after that. For me, I think that. you're wasting time. I know. I know. You could see it like a total waste of time. So to each their own, then. It like sucks the battery okay. right out of my phone. That's how much I play when I get unlimited play time. Anyways. Yeah. What else? Uh, nothing. What else did you want me to talk about? This person died, and in their will, mm-hmm. they they wanted their dog to be buried with them. So how do you feel about a perfectly healthy dog being euthanized? Wait, what? In order to be Not put... even letting the dog just die naturally? No. No, you, that's dumb. Euthanized to I'm be I'm sorry, put... I'm not a dog person, but that's just dumb. Yeah. That's Isn't dumb. Isn't that horrible? Like, why to not just bury... Perfectly no, don't healthy kill dog. the dog. What the fuck? That shouldn't yeah. even be allowed. No, it shouldn't be allowed. Is it allowed? I don't know what I don't know what the end result. No, was. that's bullshit. It just came up that. Why not just bury away. the dog with them when they're dead? Yeah, yeah, right beside. When the dog yeah, dies, the do dog that. Dies. Yeah, you can, don't kill a fucking. You could dog. actually lift the a coffin up underground unless they're being. Um, unless no, they're being... should Carl Lagerfeld's cat have uh, died with him? Mm, no. But I wish I was a caregiver of that cat. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't it inherit a lot of money? Everything. Everything. The Everything. cat. The cat has You're every. Kidding. Yeah. Carl, you're kidding. I right. Who owns the cat? It has a care a hired caregiver, I guess. I have no idea. I did read that because the cat is living a high lifestyle. Luxurious lifestyle. <laughs> now it has a whole penthouse it to, to itself. <laughs> oh right? my god, that's so funny. I can't believe Carl Lagerfeld died. I know. Rest in peace. It was amazing. I really thought I was I gonna loved meet his sarcasm. Him. I thought I was gonna meet him in my lifetime. Isn't that horrible when the people you want to really meet at some point in your life, and then boom. I know. They're gone. Even Anthony Bourdain. Oh, my God. Amazing. See, he, too. He especially. uh, uh, Carl Lagerfeld died because he was ill. But Anthony Bourdain, who unfortunately took his life... He didn't think high, he didn't think anything of himself. He didn't have the confidence. He but didn't how have... could you not... How could you... Th- how? You're a, a celebrity chef, one. Yeah. Two, you have a TV show, if not many TV shows. I don't even know. I just know that he has one parts unknown. But he was lacking that one thing in his life. You would think this guy should be what happy. What was he lacking? Love? Happiness. Love. Happiness. Who knows? He was lacking something. I know, but he can't... Maybe he was hack. Uh, self-love. Maybe he didn't, you know, he was looking know, for it but, from everywhere else. But he can't know? think he's nothing. He felt I can think I'm nothing. I haven't th- done anything but in my life. But he felt the same way. He, he's not, but he's a celebrity he's a, His accomplishments chef. were nothing. When you and he had a TV show. But you know how many people would listen, dream of having exactly, a TV show? Exactly, but you can accomplish so much and still feel nothing. I understand that. Right? So, And that's what he felt. He, he, um, you can feel nothing, but you can't think of yourself as nothing. You're not nothing. Well, to him, he was nothing. No, people right? paparazzi you, you're something. People write about you, you're something. Okay, but to your eyes and my eyes, he was something. In his own vision in the mirror, he felt like he was nothing. Right? So, obviously, he was if lacking something. If I was something. a celebrity chef and I knew I was a celebrity chef, I wouldn't look in the mirror and be like, I'm nothing. Maybe you don't know. What if you were in the state that you were in a year and a half ago? Yeah, but I was nothing, though. But doesn't matter. I'm not I'm a just celebrity chef. If you were in his status and you were in that frame of mind that you were in a year and a half ago, you'd be saying the same thing. I don't think I would. And he never. I don't I, think I would. I would be extremely sad, but I don't think I would look at myself and be like, "You're nothing" when you are clearly a celebrity but, chef. But look at okay, um, Courtney Kardashian's going through the same thing. She's got, she's got everything. What does she have? And now she she looks. She What's goes, everything? She's living <coughs> a life. She's living a great life. <coughs> right. She's got bless money. Me. She can bless you. She can travel anywhere in the world that she wants. Yeah. You know. She's but spending she time with her kids. But that is her job. What spending time with the, the her kids? T- no, the TV thing that she does, keeping up with the Kardashians. Her lines that she, her businesses that she has. She doesn't have business. Yeah, she does. I think she's doing a health, uh, food, something she business. She is. Yeah, I think she's doing something. I thought she was the only one that didn't. I think she's have doing anything. something like Goop. I think I don't she's know what do- Goop is Gwyneth Paltrow's line. Oh. I think she's doing something like that. Oh, you know, on the health side. But she too says that she should be happy, and yet she's not. Like she should be. Gr- no. She's grateful for everything she has, but she's not fulfilled. Happiness doesn't come she's with not money fulfilled. or fame. I know. That's I know, what I, that, I right. know that, but you can't say that you're nothing. You may not be happy, but you can't say you are nothing. 
Right, but she feels That's like she has I'm to saying. evaluate her life almost every day. Like, what is she doing, and why is she here, and why like, is she? Like, she has influence on people. She could be making shitloads of money traveling for free. Like, she could. Right? Especially... It's funny, because the people that could travel for free don't need to travel for free. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. So, anyways, people, find your happiness. Yeah, it's a hard thing. And live it. Yeah, it's a hard thing to say. Honestly... I realized that you have to be happy yourself. Yeah, within. Within yourself. That's what I'm saying. That's the only form of happiness yeah, find that your matters. Happiness. Yeah, yeah, but don't find your happiness in somebody else. Find, no. Find, find your, your, happiness. your happiness within you. Find your within happiness. Yeah. Right? Get on the happy train. Yeah. You know, remember the last time you were happy? Go back to that yeah, place. Yeah, but if you're don't not... Don't go backwards, but get back on that no, happy if train. You're not, if you're not happy and you're not doing anything to change it, then you deserve to be there. Then you can't, right? Okay. If you're really not happy and you're and and you're doing something to change it, then know that it will come. But if you're not happy and you're not doing anything to change it, you're either not that miserable or yeah, stop you staring at be, the ceiling and get up. Should be doing something. Stop staring at the ceiling. Spread the word. All right. Oh my God, Mom, the podcast will get you going, <laughs> get you laughing, get your spirits high. Anyways, we got to turn on a fan, so we got to go. All right, you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.